All right, class, uh, it has begun recording, and I know you will stay all the time, okay, all throughout till the end of the, le the period today. Again, if so happened that you will be disconnected, just like a while ago I saw a student left the room, I'm thinking it's pretty sure it's a disconnection due to technology. Please return and let me know what happened, okay, so I'm not thinking of something else. And you can communicate the Go Guardian. The, the chat is on, as well as you can uh, activate the raise hand button or just simply put the message in the in the comment box. And that would be a two-way communication. All right, the last person, Carlos, was it? Ah, lovely. So, put, he put the word BTB or the abbreviation. So before we move on to the, what the, uh, to the meat and the potato of our lab. Oh, thank you, Christopher. I know you were disconnected. I'm pretty sure it's a it's a technology problem. You didn't. You, you haven't missed a lot. You you did not. So we just started. Okay. So before the recording, okay, we did a quick review, refresher, so to speak, of what we have done yesterday. Yeah, I understand. Thank you, Christopher, for letting me know. I know. Okay. I know you're so honest. All right. Thank you. I got it. So you did not miss a lot. We just started. Mm -hmm. All right. So before the recording, we took the time to do a bit of a warm up to, to brush up what we had learned and seen yesterday. Even in the past, all right, we have so many lessons that are related to what we will going to be having today, all about this time about consumers. And in our lesson yesterday, we saw that when carbon dioxide is blown into this liquid that has a BTV, that was the word that I asked you to put a while ago, meaning the abbreviation. The change in color is a um, is an evidence that carbon dioxide is present. And for us and other animals, we don't keep carbon dioxide in our body, we let it go. Mm -hmm. Because we respire. Wow, a word that is brand new. So I want everyone to put that word. All right? But the word respiration, a new word that we will need to think about. We have thinking of we have been thinking of photosynthesis. Let's use a different word today. Everybody, please put the word respiration. This is the second, the third time of participation. Here is a word. Everybody, put the word respiration or respiration. Excellent. Carlos did it. Karen did it. Genesis. Excellent. Go ahead. Give you another few seconds to put the word respiration or respiration and i can see your name excellent now this is the time that i want everybody to really pay close attention because this is a new vocabulary we know that photosynthesis is when plants make food and they need oxygen water as well as the light now we're looking at different organisms this time we're going to look at the consumers only and we have learned that consumers, these are organisms that depend on others for food. And we have this word yesterday. As compared to plants, plants, they make their own food. They do by photosynthesis. This time, we're not looking at the plant. We set it aside. We're looking at other living things that depend on other living things. These are the consumers. And one activity important for them to survive, that consumers and plants as well, okay, plants as well, plants do multitasking. They make food and they respire as well. But we're not going to include plant in this lesson. We're just solely focusing on the consumers because we want to focus on what we call respiration. 
this is a big thing but we're gonna do it take it little by little okay one of the evidence one of the evidence okay one of the evidence that an organism such as human being is respiring is the release of carbon dioxide did you hear me i think you did i said one of the evidence that human beings and other animals are rest are doing respiration is when we release or give off carbon dioxide mm -hmm. could you put co2 in the room uh, let me see who we are gonna do it yeah christopher was the first one right yeah keep it in mind one of the key evidence that we are respiring is when we exhale carbon dioxide now in our experiment yesterday we saw this turned from blue to yellow <coughs> similarly like what we have done with alka seltzer and water in the past which I'm going to show it to you once again. Just a proof that when carbon dioxide, the blue color will change into yellow. Let's do it. Especially if you missed it yesterday. I got an alka seltzer, one pill, and there is water already. And I'm going to put a few drops of BTB. Once again, let's look at the fact that when carbon dioxide, the BTB with water will change into yellow. Which happened when I blew it yesterday. And this morning, during the warm-up, I started blowing this. Again, uh, it's tiring to blow, especially with this massive straw. Mm -hmm. As I said yesterday, if you are here, you can do this with my supervision. But you're going to do it with care. You don't want to sip it because the BTB is not a drink. All right? You got just to exhale carbon dioxide. Let's take a look once again of an evidence that when carbon dioxide is present, the liquid water with BTB will change or turn into yellow. There's a color change. And this color change is an evidence of a chemical reaction, which we have learned many times. All right. Can you see the blue color now? Let me add more. Can you see the, uh, what color did the water change into? Tell me. What color did the water change into? All right, let me add a little bit more. I'm waiting. Green, let me add more to make it blue. There you go. Green or blue, okay? So each time, again, I, so each time I'll put the lid back and set it aside. All right, Alka-Seltzer will change this green or bluish color. Basically, it's a green in color. And the yellow. Mm -hmm. Alka-Seltzer. There you go, everybody, please take a look. A few moments. Mm -hmm. That is the same. Evidence is there is carbon dioxide. That's why it turned yellow. Are we clear on this fact? Are we clear? Tell me. Yes or no? Yes, we're just drugging our memory, making a connection. So living things like the ones that I'll be showing you, uh, they do respiration. When do respi when do when they do respiration, there are many 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 effects of respiration. We're just gonna take one effect. We're gonna add on the rest next time. One of the effect is when they release carbon dioxide. They don't want it. We don't want too much of it. That's why we do have the lungs. We inhale oxygen from the lungs, and then we exhale, give off the carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. And this happens inside our body. 
in a what we call a cell. We're going to think about the cell eventually mm -hmm. later. But for now, consumers release CO2 and the plants get that. All right. And then as an evidence that we exhale, there's a change in color. All right. So, so far, how's your level of understanding when, with regards to recalling this from the previous past? Five, I know it so well. I can be a teacher. <laughs> Four, I can do it alone. Three, I do have question, teacher. Two, I am a bit confused. And one, I am just beginning to learn the lesson. Tell me now, we're still connecting with the lesson in the past. Only Christopher, what about the rest? Ah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, put it in, put it in. So it goes to your grade, remember? Huh? Remember this, I got I got the, rec the record. So I will never forget. If so happy you don't see any participation, let me know. I can verify my record. All right. So yeah, wow. We got several five and four. I think we can move on. It's a lot of fives and four. I wonder others who did not put their level. But they're here. Mm -hmm. Please show me your level. Okay, the next time I ask for your own benefit. All right, so I know what to do next. All right, let me put this away and I will keep all the specimens and I want to show them to you. So safely put this away. Okay. All right. Now, our main goal today is to look at several examples of organisms these are the living things could you put that word for me organism put the word organism a i mean o r g a n s i m thank you oh christopher you're always the first one love it who can beat christopher he is the first one always this time let's see who can beat him eventually let's do a little bit of competition yes organism simply these are living things like us mm -hmm. the ones that i will gonna show you and i told you a while ago disclaimer we bought this from a science store and the organisms i will be showing you they are not endangered nor extinct that's why it's all right to put them in a bottle that will keep them last long and the purpose is for learning if it is an extinct or endangered you will not gonna see them here all right our main goal is to look at several examples of different consumers and these are organisms that don't make their own food but let me get that word but they depend on others for food okay so are we clear on our goal today? Are we clear? Crystal clear? Yeah. Let me make certain that we know, just like when you are playing a football, your goal is to home base, right? To get more score, you know your goal. Let me put this up so everyone can see. I kind of love this specimen. Okay, let it one by one. Okay, let me get the riser. <laughs> okay, tell me can if you can see them. Uh -huh. Let me see. Can you see them? Type in the room. I'm waiting. Excellent. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take them one, two by two away. So we are focusing on two or one at a time only okay make certain that they will not you know fall off but you will see them anyway or do we we it's nice it's it is it is always better to reveal small to big thing so we're looking at one at a time like taking your time okay now you should be with me right okay you should be with me right Yes? You see with me? 
Are you still with me? Just checking. Yeah, thank you. Woo. Whenever I see that, yes, it makes me more alive. All right? Keep me alive so I can keep you alive. All right, so now, as I mentioned a while ago, our main goal is to look for several examples of organisms like human beings that are consumers. And we are going to identify what kind of food they eat. I know you're familiar with the word herbivore, carnivore, omnivore. Too many vore, right? Yeah, we're going to use it today. And we are combining it with, we will be combining it with the word consumer. All right, omnivore, herbivore, carnivore. So, let me refocus the camera. There are three tents that I have for you to take a look at. There, with labels. Let's start first with... There's double checking. Ammo eater. Oh, God. Excellent. Okay. These are the three tents that I want everybody to really take a look at. The first one are the plant eaters. We're going to call the plant eaters consumers, but they are herbivorous consumer. These are the plant eaters. Okay. The second group, we're dividing them into three groups, into categories, are the animal eaters. We're going to call them Carnivorous consumers. They're all consumers. They're not plants. And the third one are the ones that eat both plants and animals. And they are omnivorous consumers. All right. Could you tell, could you tell me what makes these three groups similar? Look at the tent. What makes them similar? What do that what what do they have in common? Type in the room. They are all what? Yes. Thank you. Put the word consumers. 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 Excellent. We're not looking at the word producers this time. We're pretty much done with that. But we're gonna come back later in time. Now we're gonna look at the consumers. For consumers, there are different kinds. The ones that only eat veggies or plants, the ones that eat other animals only, the carnivorous consumers, and the other one that are not so pinnickety. When you say you give them a pizza, they can eat um, veggies as well. All right? They are omnivores. When you had a burger, you don't take the lettuce away, the tomatoes, to keep them intact and hamburger them, you are an omnivore. You don't care whether it is a plant or an animal. Derivative, I would say. Okay? So we're going to look at some examples. And then, of course, I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. And then you're going to help me in the process. All right. So here we are, huh? Keep in mind, so we have some vocabulary words here, and these are organisms that they cannot make their own food. Let me start first. Start uh, first up is uh, let's see. Hold on. Wait. Uh, let me get one. Okay. I have here a, a scorpion. Scorpion. Scorpion is a consumer. See the scorpion that eats other animals. So this particular organism is a carnivorous consumer, an animal eater. Okay, next is a, hold on, uh, a grasshopper. Now, help me with this, grasshopper. What is it? Now, you will see that the, the label I have is has a letters A, B, and C. You can just tell me if it is A, 
B or C? What uh, what is A, B, and C? A, this is plant eater. B, animal uh, animal eaters only. C, plant and animal eater. So when you participate, and my question is all about those one of those answers, you can just simply type in the letter to make it easier. All right, A, plant only, B, plant animal only, they eat animal only, and C, they're not picky. They can eat both plant and animal, and these are the omnivores, okay? Carnivorous, omnivorous, carnivore, so to speak. Okay, Natalia said C. What about the rest? You help me this time. A grasshopper? C is a both plant and animal. What do grasshopper eat? Do they? Yes, A. That's why it's called grasshopper, and they are kind of vegetarian, right? Yeah. So that is say this animals. It is animal belong to this group. Okay. What about the leech? Anybody, please? Leech. An example is a leech. Lich. A. A, B. They are lich. They want to suck blood. If they want to suck blood, where is blood from? From animal or from plant? Animal. That is say, this is a blood sucker. <laughs> so this is B. This is carnivorous consumer. Right on top. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Lovely. Okay, tell me your turn. Turtle. Turtle. They are consumers, but what do they eat? What do turtles? What do turtles love to eat? Plants, right? So they are herbivorous consumer. Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. Next few more, few more. Okay, this I need you to think more here, huh? Because uh, this animal is um, not very particular, depending on the kind. What about a bat? What do they? What do bats eat? Can they eat both? Yeah, there are fruit bats. These are mammals that eat plants only. There are bats that eat insects. So that is why this can be letter C, right? But still a consumer, right? Letter C. Let us see. Okay, next. What about Mr. Frog? Mr. Frog. They have a long thumb. They they fish the fly. Uh yeah. Christopher's right in the top. What about the rest? I don't see their other names. I wonder if they stop participating. They stop earning points. All right, right there. I have to be very careful because I'm Putting them in stuff. Okay, excellent. Okay, let me move this a little bit further. Make certain that it's 30. Excellent, lovely. Okay, now, a few more. <laughs> uh, what is this? Okay, what about this? Ooh, I love this one, the worm. Sandworm. This is a marine organism. What do you think this animal prefer to eat? Again, is a consumer. Sandworm, B. Yes, yes, this is B. Let me squeeze this here. Maybe one, there you go. Now they have four. Oh, this, this group is winning. Right, they're squeezing here. There you go. Lovely, lovely, next. What about this? Ah, sea cucumber. That's a sea cucumber. Anybody tell me? Carlos said B. That's for the last one. 
sea cucumber. What do they, these are marine organisms, what do they prefer to eat? Can they be both plant and animal? Plants, yes. They can, they plant, plant eaters. Yes, some of them can eat animals, but let's put them as belonging to the plant eating organism. Sea cucumber, okay. I have one more left. What about this? It's a crayfish. Anybody? What do they eat? Crayfish. B, is that, Jose, is, uh, is, uh, is B your answer for this? I, um, I was thinking it was an old answer. Waiting, waiting. Oh, yeah, okay, let's put crayfish here. Lovely. Okay. So, ah, huh. no, I have, I have a tower here. So, the bottom line, all these organisms are all consumers. They primarily depend on other organisms, even plants, like a grasshopper. They are the primary consumers. We're going to get to that eventually. So you will notice that we have lots and many organisms are primarily consumed. Even human beings, we consume. We cannot make our own food. We need to have ingredients. Mm -hmm. And we depend on the plant. And these organisms undergo respiration and they release carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide, the plants get they get them through their leaves. Remember, leaves are the organs of photosynthesis. That's why this young seedling is already an independent plant. The leaves it have it has is now capturing the light and using the carbon dioxide to photosynthesize. Mm -hmm. Is there a connection between plant and animal? Tell me. Is there a connection? Yes. Right. Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. Without plants, there, there may not we, we may not have oxygen. And we know that the basic one of the basic gas that we need is oxygen. That's why people in the outer space, they have to carry the big oxygen tank. They have to do this uh, oxygen meter. They want to make certain that the oxygen in their tank is enough for them to survive. Mm -hmm. They're trying to find out if there was, if there is a life on Mars, or if there was a life on Mars, if they are able to prove it, then I guess they, the next step is that, can typical human being survive on Mars, though it's quite far, okay? Mars is the fourth planet. Mercury, Venus, yes, or Mars. The farther we are from the sun, the colder it gets, all right? Isn't it during winter? I'm already chilling. I wonder. I will be frozen on Mars, all right? Are you still with me, by the way? Are you still with me? Yeah, okay. How are you doing so far with our lesson? Tell me if it's the five. I know it's a well. Four, I'm good. Three, I can, I have question two. And one, I don't know what's happening. Excellent. Oh, I get five and four. Lovely. Let me, let me find out again who they are. Cesar five, wonderful. I miss Cesar five. Hmm, Cesar five has a lot of days absent. Wow, Cesar five. Hmm, Want to take my position, Cesar? Be a teacher. <laughs> it's nice to be a teacher. You teach any, you teach anybody who does not know or who needs help. All right, no five doesn't need to be teacher. All right, okay. Have we accomplished our goal? Have we accomplished our goal? I'm waiting. Our goal was 
to look at more examples of consumers and find out their kind of like eating habits. Have we accomplished our goal? I'm waiting. Have we? Guadalupe said yes. What about the thoughts of others? Have we accomplished the goal? I think so. Yes. Okay. I'm going to turn the recording off.